Hey guys, Rebecca here. It's Saturday morning. I got Higgins with me again. He's my constant companion, it would seem. The other guy's in the front room barking his head off. Last night I showed you a mosaic project that I had started on uh, with a friend. Um, we are answering a call out for Mosaic Hearts by Sherry Bosala in Florida. And I'll tell you a little bit about that project. I'll show you what we did and then talk about um, what they're doing. Um, this is mine. It's a red heart. Um, they want colors of the rainbow because it's a diversity mural uh, in honor of the Pulse nightclub victims in Orlando. Um, this one is a blue heart that um, my friend uh, Cheryl Flurdy um, created last night. She's recently, she's new to mosaics and she's hooked. So she was happy and eager to come over and play with me in the studio last night and make um, this heart. Uh, we knocked these out in one evening. It was a late evening though. <laughs> we were still cranking around 11, I think, or a little after 11. Anyway, so the project. Um, I'll tell you a little background on it. Jennifer Kunz, I'm going to read from this. Jennifer Kunz, I'm probably butchering her last name. It's K-U-H-N-S. Anyway, Jennifer Kunz leads a weekly mosaic pro program for at-risk teens in a rural town in Washington State, uh, USA. <clears throat> in January of 2017, they launched a mural project for the side of the high school. They started making mosaic hearts in class and with the community all year. Um, so the basic uh, design work is um, a silhouette of somebody, a girl blowing kisses, a person blowing kisses, and um, the kisses are all these, a rainbow of hearts. Um, the design developed as a response to the Pulse nightclub shooting on June 12th, 2016 in Orlando, Florida, as a way to send support and love to those who suffer from discrimination and hatred. After the presidential election, the message felt even more urgent and more broad. We feel this message extends to all who are persecuted for being outside of the mainstream. It is a giant visual love note to the world and a way for participants, heart makers, to express support for an alliance with disenfranchised people. So that's how that got started. And now uh, Jennifer and Sherry Bosala are teaming up to create a second mural um, to be installed in Orlando um, on the outside of Sherry's commercial mosaic studio. Um, so her um, really cool studio, she's got this place where people rent space to work on their mosaics and she also has classes come in. There's a little retail aspect to it, gallery area. It's a really cool space. Um, and it's about five miles uh, from the location of the Pulse nightclub where the shooting occurred. Um, bum, bum, bum. Let's see, what else does it say? Um, I guess that's about it. Yeah, and she, so there's a call out. So if you're a mosaic artist and you want to get involved, I'm going to put a link uh, in the description of this video where you can go and find out more about the project. Also, I want to let you know about, they're not really pushing this very hard, and I just discovered it today. They have a GoFundMe set up. Uh, so if you're not a mosaic artist and you want to help, you can contribute to the GoFundMe account. Um, it's not a very large budget because they're not trying to um, get a lot of money for this because the hearts are being donated by the individual artists. And so the artists are supplying the tests and the time and stuff. But <laughs> it's going to cost more than they think because um, well, they, they're starting to add it up and they realize they need uh, airfare for Jennifer to get down to Orlando to help Sherry install this in the fall. And they're going to have to rent scaffolding or one of those um, cherry picker lift things because um, this is going on a big wall, right? <laughs> So, and there'll be permits involved if they do have scaffolding and and um, equipment like that. They'll have to get city permits and stuff like that, and there'll be fees for that and stuff. So they have a small budget and um, in mind. And I just did my donation this morning. I just small little twenty five dollar donation. Do that. Give what you can if you if you're interested in helping with this community project. Um, so that's what I know. I'm excited about this. Um, I'm going to do another one. Uh, it's kind of addictive. Hearts are really fun because um, they're so simple, but you can't. They're simple, but within that framework, you can do something really unique, which is cool. And I've seen some of the images of the hearts that people are sending in, and oh my gosh, they, they're taking such a simple 
uh, common shape that we all know and love, right? The heart. And they're really taking it to the next level with the way they um, do the mosaic work. So it's really fun. Um, I'm hoping to do a yellow one because I think yellow is still in need and uh, maybe purple. I don't know. But I'm going to hold on to these two for a little while until I have a few more. I may have an open studio soon here uh, to have people come and make use my supplies to make a few more. So that's all I know. Hope you guys have a good weekend. And um, if you like what you're seeing here, you like see, following along with the artwork, please do hit subscribe. And um, I'll talk to you guys later.